Now doing the problem sets for the physics bootcamp addendum. We have problem one, which asks if a beam of light of wavelength 662.6 nanometers, okay, has an energy of 15 electron volts, how many photons does it have? So these uh, questions will involve more math and more problem solving. Um, well, remember when we talked about the electromagnetic spectrum, we said from 400 to 700 nanometers, <clears throat> that is the visible light range. So uh, we're talking here about a beam of light, which is monochromatic, which has the same wavelength, 662.6, that's gonna be about a red color, okay? So this is a red beam, it could be a laser beam, <clears throat> and uh, it has an energy of 15 electron volts. Let's talk about what a, one electron volt is. One electron volt is the energy that an electron gains when it goes through a potential difference of one volt. So it gives you its the <clears throat> potential energy, change in potential energy, Q times delta V. So in order to know how many joules that is, the charge of one electron is uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb, and it's the energy that it <clears throat> gains or loses when it goes through one volt of difference. So one volt. So this gives you 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Therefore, the conversion is one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joule. And then for a nanometer, one nanometer is 10 to the minus nine meters. Okay, so here we're supposed to find out how many photons this has. So what equation do we use? Well, we use the equation from modern physics, the energy of a photon is proportional to the frequency of oscillation of the wave, right? So if you have a beam of light, and it, is, it has a frequency, a given frequency, and we know that the speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency, and the frequency of the wave is proportional to its energy. The, more, uh, the higher the frequency, the higher the energy will be. And that constant of proportionality is called Planck's constant. So every photon of light, remember light has a dual nature, it has a wave nature, so it goes up and down with a certain frequency, and it has a particle nature. The particle associated with the beam of light is the photon. Every photon has an energy that it carries, and it's equal to HF, where H is Planck's constant, right? So that's the energy of each particular photon. So Planck's constant is 6.626, times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Okay, so that's known as Planck's constant. Planck's constant. So, now we want to know what is the, the total energy of this. Well, it's 15 electron volts, and we want to know how many photons it has. So how do we do that? Okay, well, we'll say the total energy of the beam is equal to number of photons, HF. N is the number of photons. Each photon has an energy of HF. So the total energy is what? 15 electron volts, right? And then <clears throat> each electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joule. Okay, that converts the units of energy to the units of joules. Then here we have the number of photons. H is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Now what's the frequency of the light beam? Well, the frequency of the light beam is the speed of light divided by its wavelength. You see, the wavelength of the light beam is given. So we need to do speed of light divided by its wavelength. Well, so far, what do we have? The joule and the joule is gonna cancel. And we have 15, 1.6, 10 to the minus 19. The 6.626, 10 to the minus 34 is going to come down to the bottom. 10 to the minus 34. Then we have N. Now we need to put the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. <clears throat> Remember, we had an extra second here. 
as, a, as far as a unit is concerned, an extra second. And then the wavelength is going to be what? 662.6 nanometer. And each nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 meter. So times 10 to the minus 9 meter. Now look what happens as far as units. Meter, meter cancel, second, second cancel. So meters cancel, seconds cancel, and therefore N is unitless. N is the number of photons that we have in that beam of light. Okay? So the final <coughs> solution is going to be what? So N is going to be 15 times 1.6. times 10 to the minus 19 over 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. And then, then the wavelength of the beam of light, 662.6, uh, which goes up there, 662.6 times 10 to the minus 9. So this one cross multiplies over there. And then the speed of light has to go down here, uh, 3 times 10 to the 8. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Well, let's multiply this all out. Okay, so 15 times 1.6, that gives you 24, times 662, times 662.6, that gives you 15,902. You divide that by 6.62, 6.626, and you also divide that by 3. Right now, I'm just doing the numbers. Divide that by 3, you get 800. Well, what happened here, you got a whole number. Why? Because this wavelength was purposely given to you so that it happens to be actually a multiple of Planck's constant. You see, 6.626, 662.6. So when these, you divided this, it's going to end up perfectly canceling, and you get a nice number. So this one takes care of this, 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 this. And now, how do we do the powers of 10? 10 to the minus 19. 10 to the minus 9 gives you what? 10 to the minus 28. 10 to the minus 34. 10 to the 8 give you what? 10 to the minus 20. <clears throat> you subtract 8 from 34 you get what, 26, right? Now what? Uh, 10 to the minus 28 over 10 to the minus 26 is what? 10 to the minus two. 800 times 10 to the minus two gives you what? N is eight. So eight photons. So that beam of light is not energetic at all. Uh, a beam of light of red light, which has a, a uh, wavelength of 662.6 nanometers, if it only carries um, energy of 15 electron volts, that means it's not very energetic. It only has eight photons in there, okay? So now you can see how to approach these problems. Thank you.